Okay, so for this problem here, we are going to do the Chinese postman problem. And it's the type of problem that talks about going down each edge in an as efficient manner as possible. And if all the degrees, if it's a Lorian, then uh, it's just you add up all of the edges, and that is the solution to the shortest path. Um, because it's a Lorian, we are dealing with edges. Um, and this is called the Chinese postman problem. Here in this country, maybe it should be called the Czech snowplow problem uh, because the snowplow has to go through every single road and they want to do it as efficiently as possible. And so that's the idea behind the Chinese postman problem. Okay, so we're given this particular map and it's the time it takes to walk from room to room in an office building. Room A is the mail room, so the postman must start at A and he must also end at A. So, first question is, is this graph Allurian or similar Allurian or neither? Well, if we look at this, we count up all the vertices, the degree of each of the vertices. This is 2, this one's 3, 2, 4, 2, and 3. And so because there are two odd degrees, it is semi Allurian. In doing this, we want to solve the Chinese postman problem for these weighted edges. And note we include the edges needed to be walked twice, the minimum time taken, the route, possible routes taken. And so there are steps to doing this problem. Here are the steps that we should consider doing. The first one, and this is if there are two odd vertices. If they're all even, then it's simply you add up all the edges and it works out to be uh, the, the answer to the Chinese postman problem. But in this case, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to identify the two odd vertices. And that's going to be A and E, because they both have three, they're the degree of three. Okay, and then from there, so we're going from A to E, and we have to find the shortest path between these two vertices. Well, this is just done by inspection. So to go this way, I get seven, or I could get 10, or I could go two and one and two and one, or six. And so actually the shortest path, the shortest path is a weight of six, and it goes uh, from, E to D to C to A, and it goes from E to D to C to A is the shortest path here. And so now, this path is going to be used twice, everything else will be used once. And so the length of the root is the total weight of all the edges plus the extra lengths that are used twice. And so if I'm going to do this, I add up all these values, it's going to be 4 plus 3 is 7 plus 10, 17, plus 3 is 20, plus 23. So all the edges is 23, so that's 23, plus the extra 6, which is done twice, and so the length of the shortest path is 29. That is the answer to the Chinese postman problem. Okay, and so we know we're going to do AE, or the extra vertices, we're going to do E to D to A to C. We're going to do this two times. And our total time taken is 29. A possible route could simply be if I start at, I have to start at A and end at A, and so I'm going to go A, I'm going to go A, B, C, D, E to C to A to F to E and then all the way around the outside again. And so to name it, it's going to go A to B to C to D to E to C to A to F to E to D, C, B, and A. This is just one of the possible paths you could take. There's lots of different combinations. You just need to know of one. And so finally, that's B part. This is B part finished. And so now C part says, the office building is to be renovated and a new hallway directly connects A to E is being considered. So we're going to go directly. Let's take off some of these trails here. We're going to do a path that goes directly from A to E is what we're looking to do. Can state the range of values of edge A to E so that the root take 
root takes less time. So what happens now, we have an even degree and an even degree. And so it means I'm not going to have to do this extra 6. If I want to cover this, and if I want to take less time, then this has to be less than 6, this path. And so the total weight of this root, so AE, has to be less than 6, and well, it's got to be bigger than 0, between 0 and 6. If that is the case, then the total time taken is going to be less, and every edge will also be covered as well. And so there's your introduction to the Chinese postman problem. Any graph that you're trying to get a complete route through it all, covering each edge is the Chinese postman problem.